One of the things we often talk a lot about is talent management and navigating one's career. And we've all had discussions about some of the greatest pitfalls in women's ascendancies. As you've mentored uh, women in your organization, but also within the financial sector, what are some of the most common missteps that you see women making? I think asking for help is a good thing. Asking for help. And I think that you know, I think women also, a lot of times, and this next generation, I put it generationally, are looking for different things than a lot of organizations are suited to, um, you know, are suited to address or pursue. So um, they might be taking a path that is really right for them, but that organizationally maybe doesn't, you know, get them to ascend to the top. So the way I look at that is a little bit, I think it's incumbent on all of us in leadership positions, you got to draw them forward. You've got to draw them forward. Um, and because I'm not sure that a precise rule set for a lot of up and coming young women of go in and demand this or do that, some of that helps, but I don't think that's the main driver. I think it is incumbent on all of us as leaders to look out, be more flexible about what talent is and, and flexible about what I call human capital, what you're good at, give you a shot, you can deliver. I can, you know, let's make this work in a, in a, in whether it's part time or, you know, try you in this role. I think it's incumbent on us to pull up that group as leaders. It is, it is, and I think that's been the shortcoming to my mind. That's been one of the biggest shortcomings of the last ten years. I, I agree. So we um, are telling, putting a lot on younger women, right? So in order to be successful. You need to ask for more money in this way. You need to raise your hand in that way. You need to do things uh, that you weren't perhaps brought up to do um, or may not be comfortable for you to do. By the way, you need to go into this woman's network and go into that mentoring program. We got all this stuff for you. Um, and what's happened as some of these numbers of women in senior executive roles have flattened is that we're not necessarily bringing women forward as much as we're making them busier. Right. By the way, right. you're all right. doing right. three times the child care and twice the housework right. at home, so we're already busier. Right. And then we got to go to the mentoring program, mm -hmm. and we're watching the folks who are involved in it, sometimes getting the promotion, but not always. Right. So I, I agree with Molly. We as leaders need to be asking ourselves, what can we do that isn't demanding so much of women continuing to sometimes contort themselves. But we also need to be very aware, and I started my career as a research analyst, and so on these topics I'm, I'm very, very interested in the research. We need to be aware that there's some underlying biases that exist with all of us.